on my last Goodwill hunting video, I did a parody of uh, Metal Satan or Metal Jesus, whatever you want to call him. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, there must be bad blood between Tight White's camp and Metal Jesus camp. And, you know, there's really not at all. It was just a parody. And to prove that there is no bad blood between us, I actually have a special guest on this video that is a very close friend of Brush Nickel Satan's. So, and also, I have two questions for the immortal one that our boy Aluminum Siding Satan never ask, but we're going to ask here on my channel because I know my subscribers want to know the answers to these two questions. The immortal one, John Hanmecock. Now, we want to know why or how did he get the name The Immortal? We also want to know, how the hell does he... You thought Ty White had all the games? This guy has all the games. How the hell does he afford all these video games? So, without any further ado, here he is. My friend and your friend, John Hanmecock. Hi, the immortal John Hancock here. And I know what you guys are thinking. How can I afford all of these games? Well, the answer is, is pretty simple, actually. I am immortal, so that means I have regenerative powers, something similar to Wolverine in the X-Men movies or the Highlander. You know, I could be using these powers the wrong way. I could be using them for evil. I could be robbing banks, robbing mansions, and then when I get shot by the cops or security guards, I, I could just heal up. But I don't do that. I have some morals, you know. So basically what I can do because of my regenerative powers is cut out my organs or, or my body parts and sell them for medical experiments. I, I can sell my body parts and organs to science, you know, and it works out really good. You know, I get all kinds of money to buy games and, and my organs and my body parts, they just grow right back like, like Deadpool. So basically guys, I've been doing this for years. I've been selling my body parts and organs for medical experiments. It helps out science and it helps increase my game collection. You know, and basically there aren't a lot of side effects to this. I've been doing it for a long time. I, I encourage you to do it too if you're immortal and you have regenerative powers like I do. You know, I recently just cut out my pancreas and it's taken a little bit longer to grow back. So I, that's why I've been drinking a lot of Coke Zero. Anyway guys, so I just wanted to answer that question about where I get all my money to buy games. So thanks a lot for all your support. I'll see you later. This has been the immortal one, John Hancock. Hey, what is up everybody? I want to take a moment to thank my subscribers and I also want to take a moment to thank YouTube. Now you might be asking yourself, why are, why are you thanking YouTube right now? Well, I want to thank YouTube for demonetizing every single one of my videos nowadays. A few dollars here and there is not going to make or break me. I want to thank YouTube for not pushing my videos out there so more people can see them because for me, this whole situation has reminded me of why I got involved in YouTube in the first place. It wasn't about money and it wasn't about getting a million views in a video. It was about community and it was about making videos to entertain people. So YouTube, I'm going to keep doing me and as for you, well.
whenever you get a chance, I just want to see some games and stuff. Sure. Uh, it's going to be, let's start with this stack right here. And I can only pull out a couple of them at a time. Freaking idiot! All right, well, we'll do it in phases, I guess. Like a month and come back, I make you better fries, but they'll probably be gone by then. But I literally just got them out. Yeah, this will probably be gone by then, I'm sure. Yeah, that's the one. If I know I can sell them for more, why would I sell them cheaper? You know, they're actually just cheap. I mean, I didn't even price them. If it wasn't me, I'd probably buy a little bit more, but yeah, because you get the boxes and stuff, so that's cool. Uh, no, ma'am.
are you? Yeah. Yeah, me too. You don't want these? Yeah, I'm going to look at oh. those too, yeah. I'm gonna put them over there by you. Okay, and yeah, the ones sure. You want, uh, I'll put off to the side. Yeah, and then put the ones you don't want back over here. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you. Did you already look at these? No, I didn't look at those yet. I'm rich, bitch! I'm gonna. I'm still. Yeah, okay. I'm still trying to figure out what I, I want. No, that's okay. <laughs> Stop rushing me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, guys, just came out the Goodwill. That's probably going to be it for the pickups. Uh, obviously, this video came out a lot quicker than a lot of my videos in the past few months, so things are starting to pick up. I'm, I'm finding games now uh, at reasonable prices and getting some pretty good pickups, so that's a good thing. The next thing we're going to do after this, we're going to head to the garage and recap this son of a B. Now, let's take a moment. Let's actually give Ty Lord Stevenson a round of applause for that John Hancock impression. Well played, my friend. Well mother effing played. I like that. Great job by Ty Lord. Amazing, incredible job, my friend. All right, so inside that Goodwill, man, these things are in rather minty condition. I don't think I had, listen, in 2018, I'm promising myself, I'm gonna get an app and put my at least my Xbox collection, my PS2 and my PS1 collection because between those three systems, I probably have 800 games. My memory is already bad enough. I can't remember what I have. I don't think I have Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer. I think I have the other one and I might have it on the PS2 and the Xbox uh, if my memory serves me right. But this thing is in excellent shape. I couldn't leave it behind. The disc is rather minty, and uh, this game got good reviews, guys. 
think I got seven out of ten, even eight out of ten on some uh, some websites. So really good reviews on this game, and um, yeah, man, it looks like a good game. Another really cool game. I think I've seen this in the past, but it was either missing the manual or the disc was scratched up, or for, it was for too high of a price. I did not know that Pariah was a first-person shooter. So yeah, an FPS, guys. Two ninety-nine on this, and this again. It must have been from the same collector. It looks like the disc has never been played. I think there's like one finger smudge on it, but not that you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, this thing is in excellent shape. This is a game that I might stream. I might play this uh, this week while I'm on vacation. All right, guys, that's it. Let's head to the garage and recap the video. See you in a bit. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the garage. Welcome to the recap portion of the video. Uh, let's go ahead and go over some musical pickups. I know I don't normally do this, but I picked up some pretty cool stuff this week. Uh, and you're listening to one of them right now. So the first music pickup right here is Blink-182. This is called take off your pants and jacket I believe I like this a lot it's a very good one right here and this next one is probably my other personal favorite so far I think this is just self uh, it's just named blink 182 there's no other name to it oh by the way I picked up that for 99 cents got this for 99 cents as well love this CD right here and then the last of the blink 182 pickups is dude ranch this is probably my least favorite, believe it or not, out of those three. 99 cents on that as well. And then I ordered this off of eBay, Lincoln Park Hybrid Theory. Never owned this coming up. Uh, very good CD right here. Highly recommended by Mr. Power Player Paul. Um, and then the last of the music pickups is, and I don't know if this has a name to it, it just says Rage Against the Machine, but it has that really cool... Um, uh, controversial I guess uh, artwork on the front of it let me know if you guys know what that is it's almost like an execution by fire this guy looks like he might be from Asia or China and uh, yeah he's getting burned really bad right there very very uh, very controversial very uh, effective uh, artwork right there makes you really want to know what the hell's going on that they, they got the gas can on the back of that so uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Let's get to the video game portion of the pickups. Or the recap. All right, now, first uh, video game pickup. And I, you know what? I'm not, to be honest with you, I don't even know if I included this in the video, but it's from a thrift store. And uh, it's a thrift store that sells all their games for $5. But I've convinced them to sell the games to me for 2 I don't know if they have that rule for anyone else, and to be honest with you, I don't think they do uh, from talking to the manager. But for whatever reason, when I came in this time, they were like, dollar for all games. And then I looked at all the games that were sitting there for like two months that they did not sell, because I've been telling the guy for a long time, your, your prices are too high. Uh, half of them were gone. So sure enough, maybe they're selling them for a dollar now to everybody. But I ended up picking up Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, I already have this in my collection, although I'm not a GameCube collector anymore. I might even flip my copy. Unfortunately, the manual is not in there, but it'll still go for, the disc is in very good condition. It'll still go for about $15. So paying a dollar for that, simple math max there, guys. Now, the next pickups that I'm going to show you is from a pawn shop that I hardly ever go to, but I always remember this pawn shop because I picked up uh, a really good PS2 title there, um, for whatever reason, I can't remember now. But anyway, so went in there. The guy that I've never met this guy before. I think he's new there. Real slick car salesman. Um, you know, sleazy car salesman type of guy that is not is really going to work you hard uh, as far as the deals. So he, it was not easy, but I was able to talk him down. And uh, there were some music copyright issues. There was a bunch of, the music was real loud in the pawn shop. So I was not able to put everything in the video. But this guy, yeah, he was a little bit tough to break down. But I finally got a decent deal from, from him. So this was priced $6.69 race driving. Got that complete. Card is in real nice shape, guys. 
And then next up, I got a cliffhanger. You can see Sylvester Stallone on the cover there. That was also priced at $6.69 or $6.99. Complete as well. Card in great shape. And then the last title, an absolute classic on the Sega Genesis, Flashback. Let's go ahead and check out some game footage on this. All right, guys, so yeah, very uh, classic, cool game. Um, so the guy finally said, I'll just give you all three for 24, no tax. I didn't think it was a good enough deal, so I told him, no thank you, uh, I'll catch you next time. As I'm walking out the door, he says, I'll give you all three for 20, no tax. So I go ahead, we went ahead and settled on that, and I was happy about that, so very cool there. All right, next pickup, this actually happened yesterday. Walked into a Goodwill and got this for $2.99. Minecraft Story Mode uh, Seasons Pass Disc. Now, I have no interest in any of this uh, Minecraft stuff, so for me, this is an easy. I should be able to make around 20 bucks on this. And the disc is in rather minty condition, so that's going to be an easy flip for me. And then probably at the beginning of... A couple of weeks ago, right after I made my last Goodwill hunting video, I picked this up. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon for $4.99. This is complete and should go for around 15 to 20 bucks. I, don't, I do not collect from the Nintendo DS, guys. And then two days ago, by the way, I'm on my vacation this week, so I have all week off, but I've been taking care of a lot of uh, construction on the house. But a couple of days ago, walked into a Goodwill and got this Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer for $2.99. And I think the ne this game and the next game is from a, the same collector because it looks like the disc was never played on these, man. Absolutely minty condition. Very cool title right there. Got, got uh, really good reviews online. 7 out of 10. So, some, on some websites, 8 out of 10. So really cool with that. And then a title that I've seen before, but I had no clue that it was an FPS, and that's Pariah. Let's go ahead and check out some game footage on this.
Yeah, so paid $2.99 for that. Now, this game, when it came out, it was really hyped. It was supposed to be the Halo killer. Unfortunately, it did not live up to the hype. It's an average FPS game, I would say at best, but if you're an FPS fan and you love your Xbox, this is probably one that you want to check out. Uh, it's got some plot twist and uh, yeah, definitely something worth checking out if you're an FPS fan. All right, now next, I actually forgot to show you this, guys. I thought this was pretty cool. Looked online and the last one sold for 20 bucks. Friday the 13th Part 2 factory sealed and that was only 99 cents so that was kind of a no-brainer I had to pick that one up I'll go ahead and flip that now all three of these PS1 games I picked up at a Goodwill first one 399 NBA or actually all of them are 399 NBA Jam Extreme I've never played in NBA Jam on the PS1 and I'm sure it's probably pretty good so that was kind of a no-brainer had to pick that up this is going into the collection, guys. I'm not flipping that. And then next up is a title that I never, ever see out there. It might not be worth a lot of money, guys, but I'm all about PS1 games that are hard to find, and I think this is one of them. Fox Sports NBA Basketball 2000. There might have been three copies online complete. The rest were loose discs. So it's not a title that you see every day for sure. And then the third title from that Goodwill, which I've never found out in the wild before, I actually have, I, I, you know what, I think I actually have two copies of this, so I actually now I have three copies of it, both copies I picked up either in a lot or I purchased one individually because I knew that it was fairly rare, so this is a jewel case variant of the long box, ESPN Extreme Game, or ESPN 2 Extreme Games game goes for roughly 20 bucks I think it's come down in price a little bit 399 I was not gonna leave that behind very good pickup right there guys now next up let's go ahead and go all these are from the same Goodwill 99 cents each I was not gonna pass up on Sega Genesis titles I did leave a couple sports tiles behind Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 99 cents Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 99 cents. All of these are going to be flipped with it. I have three Sega Genesis consoles. That's the only reason I picked this stuff up so I could reflip or I could sell them with, or I could lock them with a console. Shaq Fu, 99 cents. Mortal Kombat, 99 cents. And then the last title, Tasmania, for 99 cents as well. Now, this title right here I would not normally have purchased, but I got it from a thrift store. Talked to the manager. He had a TI-83 Plus on sale, or not on sale, but he was selling one for $20. Not, I was not going to pay that much. I told him, I said, will you give it to me for five? He said, yes. They were throwing out some old stuff that wasn't selling, so I caught him at the perfect time. He said, yes, but he said, the only condition is if you buy a game from me. And the games for me are two dollars a piece there, so picked up Jeremy McGrath Super Cross World. Let's go ahead and check out some game footage on this. Next pickup here is a tile that I picked up a few times on my channel, and I do have a complete copy of this. Black Label, $3.99 for this Final Doom, guys. This game right now goes online and sells for $25. So as long as it works and the disc is not in too bad a condition, I'll be able to uh, flip that for $25. So very nice there. Next title here is, and I have a Greatest Hits version. I got the Red Label, so I have the Black Label. So I have to swap those out and flip my uh, Red Label and go ahead and get between 13 and 15 dollars for black label goes for about 15 dollars paid 3.99 for that it is complete very nice cool title right there i played it before and then at that same goodwill ended up getting a wii remote the og original wii remote for four dollars and 99 cents you can see the price that someone was selling it for 40 bucks 
and it goes roughly for around that amount. You know, people love sealed stuff, even we stuff, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and couple that or group that with this factory sealed nunchuck for $4.99 as well. So those two right there, I should be able to sell between 30 and 40 bucks. Make some nice little profit on that. Go ahead and put that in the background. All right, where are we at? All right, so next time, we only got three more tiles and I'll let you guys go. A tile that I do not have in my collection, so this is getting added to the collection. I don't flip everything, guys. I'm looking for Sony stuff uh, and anything cool. You saw those Sega Genesis tiles I'm not gonna sell as well. Heroes of Might and Magic, Quest for the Dragon Bone Staff. Paid $3.99 for that, it is complete. And then the second to last title here, guys. A game that I do not see out in the wild very often. Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. Let's go ahead and check out some game footage on this. Oh yeah. So this looks like a really cool title. Very Baldur's Gate style uh, type of game. Uh, just from looking at the game footage. Made by Metro 3D. So keep an eye out for this game. I've heard of, heard of it before by searching on eBay. But I've never seen it out in the wild before. So pretty cool to pick that game up. This is definitely getting added to the PS2 collection. And I got a surprise at the end of the video for you guys. We're going to be putting... The PS2 titles on the shelf in the game room that I've just started constructing after Harvey, so that should be pretty cool. Now, the probably the sick pick of the week right here. This game goes in between 40 and 50 bucks. I picked this game up three times now on my channel. NCAA Football 14, and I only paid $3.99 for that. Comes with the slip that I think it's supposed to come with. I don't think it has an owner's manual. Has two extras there. The disc has some scratches on it, but again, the game should go for 40, 45 bucks, easy. So yeah, guys, that's it for that. Now, let's take the games that we are keeping. Now that I'm getting my game room back in order, Dark Angel. Now we won't go over the Xbox titles yet because I don't have my Xbox stuff organized, but I do have my, and I don't have my PS1 stuff organized. We're flipping that anyway. Let's go ahead and go over the PS2 stuff only, Dark Alliance, Heroes Might and Magic, and I think that was it. Oh no, I'm sorry. And McGrath, Supercross World. So, we're going to go ahead and warp to the game room real quick. Let's go ahead and do that little spin move real quick. Alright guys, so here we go. Here is the game room, and here is my PS2 collection right now, which is the first thing I've organized since I've started to put stuff back together. So, McGrath, let's go ahead and check out racing style games here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. And then what else? We have Dark Angel, Vampire Apocalypse. Go ahead and put that right there next to Prism, Chapter One, The Dark Unicorn. And then, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I can see that sticking out right now. There's the red label Greatest hits version. So we'll go ahead and flip that and we'll add this to the collection here And then the last title right here is Heroes Might and Magic Let's go ahead and see if we can fit that in there. No, we cannot 
we'll put that right over there all right guys that's it young children do not smoke cigarettes and uh, I appreciate you guys for checking out the video my name is tight white now crack you know what your problem is you have no game <laughs> What you know about gang? I got all the gang.